Ramiji, congratulations, what a marvelous event, this superb going, I see a lot of dignitaries, a lot of guests, a lot of happy faces. Can you take us through what is this event all about and what's happening? A British Sikh Association's annual dinner. And this dinner is a very high profile dinner because we want to highlight the concerns Sikhs have. Currently we have issues with people traveling in ports and airports where their turbans are subjected to a lot of searches unnecessarily. So tonight we'll be telling the world why Sikhs wear turban in the first place. As you know, this turban was worn not to oppress or suppress or, or to terrorize people. It was worn to liberate those people who were being suppressed and oppressed in the name of religion. So this, is, this turban stands for human freedom. So tonight we are going to show, we have a police commissioner, we have about 15 members of parliament, we have local leaders, political leaders, we want to tell these people that the Sikh turban should be recognized in the United Nations as a symbol of freedom and it should be accorded dignity and respect throughout the world. As you know, 84,000 Sikhs sacrificed their life wearing turban for the world freedom, fighting shoulder to shoulder with the Brits more than any other community in comparison to the number. If the Sikh turban was good enough then, it must be good enough now. So it's about time we respect the Sikh turban, because which is a symbol of freedom, and, 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 and we want the commissioner of police to, and all the members of parliament to make sure that all the European communities, they understand that the Sikhs are special case. The, the turban should be respected. Thank you very much. कपूर साहब सबसे पहले तो आपको बधाई इतने अच्छा फंक्शन जा रहा है और यूनिवर्सिटी भी इसमें इन्वॉल्व है तो आज की शाम के बारे में बताएं यहाँ पर जो हो रहा है उसके बारे में हमें बताएं ये फंक्शन जो है वो ब्रिटिश सिख एसोसिएशन ने इसका एतमाम किया है और वर्ल्ड सिख यूनिवर्सिटी और खालसा कॉलेज लंडन ये दोनों इंटेग्रल पार्ट हैं ब्रिटिश सिख एसोसिएशन के आज हम जो जिन पंजाबियों ने अपनी अपनी फील्ड में अच्छा नाम कमाया है उनको कुछ इनाम देंगे और तीन जो मेन डिग्नेटरीज हैं उनको वर्ल्ड सिक्स यूनिवर्सिटी की तरफ से ऑनरेडी डॉक्टरेट दी जा रही है वो क्यों और किस लिए हम सब के लिए बहुत जरूरी है मैं ये समझता हूँ कि अगर आप जिंदगी में कोई भी काम करें तो उस काम की प्रशंसा होनी बहुत जरूरी है जब तक हम हमें कोई आके ये नहीं कहता कि आपने जो काम किया है उसमें उससे देश को क्या फायदा है उससे कौम को क्या फायदा है तो काम करने वाले का फिर एहसास नहीं पड़ता तो ये जो हम डॉक्टरेट देते हैं ये बहुत रेयर है क्योंकि पिछले पंद्रह साल में हमने सिर्फ पाँच या छः ऐसी डॉक्टरेट दी हैं ये उन शख्सियतों के लिए मखसूस हैं जिन्होंने अपनी फील्ड में टॉप काम किया हो आज ये तीनों जो हम डिग्रीज देंगे एक तो है मिस्टर अमरजीत चंदेक जो बहुत यंग एज में सोलिसिटर ऑफ जनरल एडिशनल सोलिसिटर ऑफ जनरल इंडिया में बने हैं एक मिसिस कमल होती है जिन्होंने लॉयड्स बैंक में बहुत ऊंची पदवी हासिल की है और तीसरी सिद्धार्थ लोचन सिंह जी हैं जिन्होंने सिख फील्ड में बहुत ज्यादा काम किया है बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद और हमारी ओर से एक बार आपको बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं थैंक यू वेरी मच पहले तो आपको बहुत बहुत बधाई आपको आपके वर्ल्ड सिख यूनिवर्सिटी को और खालसा कॉलेज को इस कार्यक्रम में आप बड़े बजट के हिस्सा ले रहे तो आज की शाम के बारे में बताए और खास करके इसका जो इम्पोर्टेंस है उसका जो महत्व है उसके बारे में मुझे कुछ I am very happy to be here as the registrar of World Sikh University. World Sikh University is the first Sikh university in the Western world. It was launched in 1997, and university takes pride in honoring outstanding Sikh personalities with their extraordinary achievements and contribution to the society on a global scale. And World Sikh University, it's our privilege. to honor them by giving them an honorary doctorate as a doctor of philosophy for what they have achieved i was attending the functions of the different communities all the indians are doing very fine they are very well they are contributing to the society to the economy and here i have come to attend the function of the british sikh association they are doing lot of charity work they are doing good work in the society along with the other indian brothers 
and uh, this sends a very good message to the diaspora and all our brothers here. And I am really happy and I wish them all success in their work of charity and uh, contribution to the society as a whole. Thank you. Thank you. Well, our heartiest congratulations, first of all, for a marvelous achievement, but it doesn't come to us as a surprise anymore because we have witnessed you working for the community and for everybody over the years. So kindly, first of all, share your thoughts about this event and how do you feel today? Well, first of all, you know, I mean, I love our community and for the last 32 years working for the, for the group for Lloyds Bank, I've been working for the Asian community for about 10 years doing, you know, recognizing their achievement. And to be recognized by your own fellow brothers and sisters, I'm really humbled. I cannot believe that the World Seek uh, universities are giving me this honorary doctorate. Um, I just wish my parents and my father in law were here to actually see it today. Certainly. Congratulations again and all the best. Thank you very much. But you don't never miss your words and you have always appreciated Sikh contribution. Kindly share your thoughts about this event. Well, look. I've known the Sikh community all my life, and the community I've known is a very decent, a hard-working, family-oriented, loyal community. Very, very low rates of crime, own a lot of their own homes, decent people, good neighbours. And I have to say, some of my best friends, I mean, I'm, when I was brought up, they had the, the Nayars uh, growing up next door to me, and the Thin Jews, they were my neighbours. Good, and the Chow Hans come to think of it. In fact, I was probably the only Gori on the street. <laughs> but this is a great occasion to celebrate the linkage between our two great communities. Bye bye, we used to say when I was a boy. We are brothers and brothers because we know each other well. For six, everybody uh, appreciates the contribution of six, and you have always been at the forefront, uh, patting them on the back. So kindly share your thoughts about this event. It's a wonderful another evening organized by the British Sikh Association to bring the achievements of the Sikh community in the British economic, social and political life. I'm proud to be part of this association. I'm proud to be part of the community where these kind of hardworking, dedicated and committed people are living. I have many people living in my constituency and I congratulate everybody involved in this organization who has organized not only in this function but certainly contributing the society in general. Thank, Thank you. you. Mr. Chairman, Lord and Lady Singh, Members of Parliament, Honourable Guests from India, Mr. Amarjit Singh Chandiyok, Ladies and Gentlemen, 
British Sikh Association was set up to promote the teachings of the Sikh Gurus in the Western Hemisphere. Gurbani asserts that the universe has come from the light and we are all children of the Almighty. The Gurbani says, Awal Allah Anur Upaya Kudrat Ke Sarbhande. Sikhism's ideal is that religion does not create hate, rather it creates love and harmony. According to a poet, Mazhab nahi sikhata aapas mein bhair rakhna. Sikhism is the youngest religion in the world. The basic teachings are the meditation, that is the communication with God, one master, and Guru Nanak said, Sapna jiya ka ik data, so mein visar na jai. Honest living, and the Guru said, Mana hali kirsani karni, sarvapani talikhet, peaceful coexistence, religious tolerance, and equal rights. The holy scripture of the Sikhs is called Guru Granth Sahib, to whom the Nobel laureate Dr. Annie Besant called as one of the most sublime scriptures in the world. Pay tribute to the founder of Sikhism, Guru Nanak, Dr. Muhammad Iqbal said, Pir uthi akhir sada tafeed ki Punjab se Hip ko ik mard kamal ne jagaya khab se. Then arose a sound of revolution from the Punjab and India was awakened from the long slumber by the greatest of the great, the Guru Nanak. The holiest of the Sikh shrine is Harmandir Sahib, popularly known as Golden Temple, where Her Majesty the Queen paid a visit in 1997. Many prime ministers and dignitaries have already paid a visit there. Punjab, the homeland of the Sikhs, is the gallery of the Indian subcontinent, and the Sikhs are the backbone of the Indian Defense Forces. Today, we have assembled here to honor people who have distinguished themselves in their life and they have honored the Sikh community throughout the globe. World Sikh University and Khalsa College London, who are integral part of the British Sikh Association, will be honoring three dignitaries with the award of the Doctor of Philosophy and addition. And in addition, there will be other people who will be honored with the jewel of the Sikh Prize. In addition, as you have already seen, there will be entertainment program and with speeches from the renowned people who have known Sikhism from the very close quarters. At the end, addressing to my friend again, Mr. Ramaji Singh Chandiyok, who has come all the way from India to be honored here by the World Sikh University. Here are a few lines from Akhtar Sharani. O desh se aane wale bata kis haal mein hai yaarane vatan ke aap bhi wahan ke baagon mein mastana hawaye aati hai ke aap bhi wahan ke parbat pe gandhor ghatae chhati hai ke aap bhi wahan ki barkhaye aise hi dilon ko bhati hai o desh se aane wale bata Thank you very much. Please warmly welcome the chairman of our association, Dr. Rami Ranger, MBA. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we are really honored to have the first Sikh Lord, Amarjitji Chandyo, the additional Solicitor General, members of parliament from both the political 
parties and distinguished audience here, so we are really grateful. I would like to welcome you to the British Sikh Association's annual dinner, which is to celebrate the vision of Sikh gurus for the greater good of mankind. After 9-11, it has become even more important to host these high-profile events to enlighten the public about the Sikh faith, as many still think Sikhs are relics of the past. Regrettably, Sikhs are facing hardship at many ports and airports due to their turbans. As a result, we need to educate people as, as to why Sikh wore turbans in the first place. They wore turbans not to oppress anyone or to commit terrorist acts against others. Instead, turban was born to liberate those who were being oppressed and terrorized for their religion. In two great wars, 84,000 turban Sikhs sacrificed their lives and many more were injured fighting shoulder to shoulder with the Brits more than any other community in comparison to their numbers and helped change the course of our history. The Sikh Regiment was the most decorated regiment in the entire British Empire and until today the Sikh Regiment is the most decorated regiment in the Indian Armed Forces, in the Indian Army. If the Sikh turban was good enough then, it must be good enough now. The world owes Sikhs a debt of gratitude and therefore the Sikh turban should be recognized by the United Nations as a symbol of human freedom and accorded full dignity and respect throughout the world. People need to be educated that Sikhs are modern, progressive and peace-loving community who always punch above their weight to benefit society. According to the Office of National Statistics, 82% of British Sikhs own their own homes, more than any other community. Those who own homes pay higher taxes and claim fewer benefit from the state. Above all, Sikhs believe in the universal brotherhood of mankind. The founder of Guru Nanak traveled the length and breadth of India and beyond in search of truth and to discover the true meaning of life. He even traveled to, to Mecca, the holy place for Muslims, in his quest to find answers. During his travels, he met many holy and wise men, which led him to, to the conclusion that no one, no one religion could have a monopoly on truth. He brought their teaching and helped compile the most relevant book on truth, the Guru Granth Sahib Ji. A truly inclusive holy book based on interfaith teaching to eliminate religious conflicts. Let's see how progressive our founder was. First against gender inequality and gave equality to women 500 years ago, over 500 years ago. First against religious conversion. First against caste system. First against ritual and outdated religious practices. It is also on record that Sikh Gurus just dedicated their life for the uplift of mankind and above all, human freedom. They realized if people are suppressed, either by state or religion, then they cannot develop wholesomely. As a result, they cannot contribute much to society except for behaving like obedient servants. They champion religious freedom as a fundamental human right for every individual. They said, identity must be accepted, respected, and if need be, defended. As a result, the ninth Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji accepted martyrdom to uphold the rights of Hindus to worship their faith freely. A unique example in history where his faith leader sacrificed his life for the right of 
follow of another faith. The 10th Guru Gobind Singh Ji established the Brotherhood of Khalsa Sikhs to liberate those who were being persecuted for their faith and make supreme sacrifices to free them. Tonight, we will be honoring a few Sikhs who have lived up to the ideals of our Gurus and have brought honor and pride to our community and country, India. Finally, it's worth remembering that as long as we follow the teaching of our Gurus, we will be respected throughout the world. Regrettably, if we follow the ideology of self-proclaimed leaders, then we will be shunned by everyone. Six were created to defend the unity, integrity, and basic human rights of every Indian, and not to break India up. When Sikh Guru never proclaimed a kingdom, then why do some of their followers deem fit to demand one for themselves? Surely they cannot be great visionaries. Surely they cannot be greater visionaries than our gurus. Final loyalty is a prerequisite for success. And six are and must remain loyal to their mother India and their adopted country like Britain according to the teaching of our gurus. Jai Gurus and Jai Hind. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please warmly welcome the MP for Ealing South, Mr. Virendra Sharma. Mr. President, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's always a difficult task when you follow Ravi Ranger because he says everything you wanted to say. Uh, I was saying to Sri Pound earlier on that, uh, should I say that I agree everything from the way they have said? He said, but you must do your three minutes. So I will try to do it less than three minutes. <laughs> but I say, great honor and to come once again to join you all to celebrate the achievements of the community in Britain. Those are achievements in the economic, social, and political lives and to also to remind ourselves about the teachings of our Gurus. What Ravi said earlier on, the teachings of Guru Nanak up to the 10th Guru and the Guru Granth Sahib, how relevant it is still today. We need to look at that what Guruji started in 500 years ago to reform the society and where we are now, we are still talking about the same issues that Guruji spoke 500 years ago. But the other Gurujis fought against terrorism, any difficulties and differences in the society, and discrimination in the society, and we are talking about today as well. Equality for women, we are still talking about today. We are still talking about against the caste system. We are still talking about the tolerance in the society. We are still tr trying to campaign throughout our political and social lives that where there should be better education for all. There should be no child labor. We need to bring all those issues back again. If we are the true followers of our Gurujis, and I feel proud to come from the land where the Gurujis have preached that, that we need to follow the teachings of the Guru. The teachings of the Guru is that we must work collectively to eliminate poverty in the society. We must work collectively to bring tolerance in the society. We make sure that we religiously respect each other. And we must try to work hard to bring unity amongst the communities. And I hope that tonight, when we leave here, after a wonderful meal, later on and entertainment, that we will take that message with us. We pledge to ourselves that we are, we are going to work together to do that so that we can take the message of our Guruji to the whole society. Once again, thank you very much uh, for the organization.
for organizing such a wonderful evening and I look forward to working with you in the future so that we can eliminate and bring the equality in the society. Thank you very much and God bless you.